we, we become this polarized nation. We know that, right? But we become almost this like AFC, NFC, right? Blue or red, right or left, you or us, splitting the country right. one side or the other. In your mind, what are one or two things that we can do to sort of find that middle, which we know exists, by the way? Right. We need to give back to people their freedom to make um, practical choices in the day. And both parties are completely missing the, missing the boat. And Howard Schultz is clearly onto something. The, the left thinks the job is just to get rid of Trump. No, they've got to solve the problem that got Trump elected. Which was what? Which was incredible alienation because Big Brother breathes down people's necks all day long. People fill out forms that nobody reads. They can't, they have to go to 11 different agencies to get a simple permit. All that kind of stuff is driving people nuts. It, it takes more permits and sort of you know, red tape to become a hairdresser in New Jersey than a truck driver. Completely. That's the kind of stuff you're talking about. You're preventing people from doing stuff because there's so many hoops to jump through, right. they just simply may not be able to. That's right. And it's built up almost without our noticing you know, over the last 50 years, this huge kudzu of, of bureaucracy, and you can't fix it. You know, every president since Reagan has promised to fix it, and it's only gotten bigger. That's because the premise is wrong. It tries to tell everybody exactly how to do everything. It takes away their dignity. It takes away their common sense. And you've got to replace it. You've got to simplify it and go back to what the framers would have wanted, which is give people a job, public job too, hold them accountable for how they do, but don't tell them how to do it. Yeah, and, and you, you put out in the rule of nobody, which I've urged so many people to read, you know, to, in order to pass new laws, we need to remove laws because there's so many laws that are even antiquated and old Nobody, even politicians, knows how to work their own system except for some vested interests that are able to sort of use these old worthless laws, almost like holding new stuff Washington. hostage. Washington's like the court of Louis XVI. Everybody's there just for the status quo. All the interest groups protect the status quo. I had breakfast with former Senator Tom Coburn the other day. Uh, he's organizing a convention of states, and we're going to propose an amendment for a recodification commission that will come in and actually propose, because Washington will never do this, propose a simplified structure area by area that actually focuses. What would, be, what would that look like? Give us a, a sort of a quick uh, example of uh, how that would be uh, so, out. So uh, worker safety laws, 4,000 rules. It would become probably uh, 50 or 100 pages of principles, goals, things that people could really understand. And then the, the agency would focus on unsafe workplaces. Uh, infrastructure would have, we already have a three page legislative proposal there, three pages uh, that would create clear lines of authority to make decisions about how much environmental review you really need, who gets to decide if the agencies disagree, so you don't spend 10 years in these stupid processes to get something approved. Three